Hi all and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be showing you uh, one of the many ways that you can get a GPX file from your Mac to your Garmin device or your Garmin, I've got a Garmin Zumo XT. So how does that process happen? There are three, there are lots of ways to do it, but there's three ways that I use. Um, I use uh, number one, I use my my phone, um, my iPhone, which is not what this video is going to show you. Number two, I use my MacBook, um, which this video is going to show you. Um, many people have complained when they've said that when they plug their, their Garmin device into their Mac, the Mac doesn't see it in Finder. Well, that's what this is all about. Um, you can also use the Garmin Explorer um, web page. Um, you can use Garmin Basecamp, uh, which I never use because I particularly hate it. So anyway, without further ado, how do we firstly, how do we connect the Garmin device to the to our Mac and get the Mac to read it? Well, you need a bit of kit. You need if you follow my mouse down to my 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 um, my bar at the bottom here, you'll see. I've got a piece of kit called Android File Transfer. So you need to download and install Android File Transfer. Now that does exactly what it says it'll do on the tin. Your Garmin device is fundamentally an Android device. And by the way, watch this video to the end because I'm going to tell you about another device this works for on your Mac. If you're a vlogger, you're going to find really, really useful. So keep watching to the end of the video. So, oh, and um, as all the video uh, YouTubers say, and I always forget to say it, don't forget to please uh, give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. So, I am now going to plug my Garmin device into my, 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 my MacBook. Not a lot used to if you don't turn it on. Then you're going to connect it to your MacBook, and this is all after you've installed the Android file transfer app, which is very, very easy to install. If you don't know how to install it, or if you'd like me to make another video on how to install it, please do leave a comment in the comments box below, and I will happily do that. But if you're a Mac user, you probably know how to install the DMG file already. Okay, so once you've connected your Garmin to your Mac, which I've just done, you'll then get this popping up. And at this point, you need to press the, the bit that says continue. So you press continue there and then that turns your Garmin device into a big USB device basically but this is where the problem came in with other people that they didn't have access to the device once it was running once it they didn't have access to the sorry they didn't have access to the their Garmin device on their Mac well once you plugged it in you need to wait a few seconds we're waiting for this thing here to pop up so let's just wait a few seconds for that to happen. Okay, so after a few seconds, maybe even as much as 30 seconds, you have to wait. This will automatically pop up. If it doesn't pop up and it says uh, Android device not found, just close it again and reopen it again, but just be patient and wait. So now I've got access to my Garmin device or the root directory of my Garmin device with, um, with my MacBook Pro. And the folder we're interested in, in, by default in the root, is called the GPX folder. And if I click on my GPX folder, you can see I've got a whole load of other GPX files saved on my device. In fact, I need to go down a bit of a clear out, it's a bit of a mess. Right, so keeping that in mind, we're going to come back to that in a minute, leaving the Garmin device attached to your Mac. So now we're going to go and let's go and grab a GPX file from my favourite place to grab it from. So I'm going to go open up a new tab and I'm going to go to my 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 root app and here I've got loads of uh, I've got loads of bits and bobs and files I'm going to use this one here called Hertz Tootle it's a it's a root that I've got planned I'm going to go and click on my Hertz Tootle root and this by the way is in my root app like I just said uh, however you get your 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 GPX files I've done lots of other videos on my root app uh, please look at the link below and above right now to have a look as to how to the, to have a look at the video that's about how to make a GPX file with my root app. I'm not going to cover that now because I've already covered it. So from here, this is my root. So from here, I'm going to go and click save as, and I'm going to 
save it as a GPX 1.1 root track POI. I'm going to save that there. So that is pretty much saved. So to prove the point, now that's, I use, by the way, I'm using Google Chrome. And in Google Chrome, the default uh, download folder is your profile and downloads. Um, if you don't know how to get to your default and your profile and default downloads folder on a Mac, also leave a comment below and I'll see about what I can do about um, popping up a, a, a video for that as well somewhere. Right, moving on. Let's, without further ado, let's get on with it. Then that's proved the point that it's actually there. So I'm going to go to Finder. I've got all mine shortcutted in my favourite part side. If I go to Downloads, I should see my GPX file and ding dong, there is the GPX file that, that, that I want to use. Now I want to get that GPX file onto my, my, my Garmin uh, sat-nav. Remember, now let's go back to the file transfer app, bring that up in front of us. And all I have to do is take this. I don't, I don't need to click this here now. All I've got to do is don't do anything else. Click once, click and hold, drag and drop onto the GPX folder, like so. And if you look down here, there should be a, a, a one that says uh, Hertz Country Tootle. So now, now let's go back to the, um, let's go back to my Garmin. So I'm just going to switch cameras. So bear with me a mo. In fact, this I'm going to switch to the camera on my iPhone. Um, so let's come over to here. Just pull the cable out of the back and powered it back on. So I'm going to say, agree. And now it says, look, new route found, import to trip planner. Yes, we want to import it to the trip planner. And we also want to import it. We want to make sure we say we import here as well. So we're going to click on import Hertz Tootle and say import. And that will then save the item to the trip planner. So let's just give that a few seconds to finish doing this thing. It's pretty quick. So now let's just prove the point that it's there. So if I go to the my apps and I go to my trip planner and I go to saved trips and then I scroll down, I should see one that says Hertz Tootle, Hertz Country Tootle. And voila, there it is. And there is my Hertz Country Tootle. And let's go to the map so that it looks, hopefully it looks the same. Yes, it looks identical. That's perfect. I could say back and if I wanted to I can navigate and go from this point so that's how you get a GPX file onto your Garmin device so remember I said to you earlier about this uh, uh, Android file transfer being useful for something else as well well if you are a vlogger of any sort be it a, a motor vlogger or maybe you're a, a truck vlogger or whatever you use if you're a vlogger and use it you use a gopro camera um, then and you use a mac you'll also know that plugging the gopro into your mac you have to have the gopro quick software for it to actually work you can't see it otherwise it has to import it for you well guess what that's also gopro also use an android core so you could plug your gopro into your mac wait a few seconds for the for the file transfer app which is here like i just told you wait a few seconds for it to pop up and then in finder you will be able to go and browse oh sorry in not in finder i lie in in the file transfer app you will then be able to go and browse your all of your files all of the video footage and or pictures that you have taken on your gopro just in a raw state rather than having to go through some other third party piece of software which takes forever to load and to work. So I use uh, uh, Android file transfer on my Mac not only for my Garmin but I also use it for my GoPro and you just need to by the way you probably have a folder called a DCIM folder when you see it so just go to the DCIM folder and you will see all of your files there too so there's a bit of bonus information for you uh, sorry if this video has been glitchy and a bit hominari here and there but I'm trying to do it with uh, I don't script videos I just talk 
So you'll have to forgive me for that. It's a bit, it's a bit uh, ad hoc. So please do give me a like. Please do subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. You can always change your mind again later if you don't want to see any more of my videos. That's it. Happy riding, safe riding, safe driving, and long live the blockchain. Bye for now.